What if I told you I wanted you to grow and then shrink and then grow this egg again? How would you do it? Well, today I'm going to show you how with my growing and shrinking egg experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your eggs and your honey because we're about to make a shape-shifting egg. This experiment is a multi-day process, but each step along the way is really fun, so stick with me. For the first step, we are going to grow our egg. How are we going to do that? With vinegar. What you wanna do is get a glass and put some vinegar in it. You just need enough to cover your egg. And then you can use a spoon and take a raw egg, not a hard boiled egg, a raw egg, and very carefully place it in your glass just like so. And then go ahead and put your spoon on top of your egg. Once you have your egg in your glass, you'll see these bubbles forming around the egg. That's the vinegar or the acetic acid reacting with the calcium carbonate in the egg shell. It's creating these carbon dioxide bubbles that you can see around the egg shell if you look really closely. Those bubbles will start to build and get bigger and your egg will want to become more buoyant and float to the surface, which is why we have this spoon here. And over the course of 24 to 48 hours, the vinegar will completely dissolve and remove the shell of the egg and you will have a naked egg. In 48 hours, your naked egg will look like this. You can see a lot of the shell has floated away from the egg and floated to the surface. And we can just go ahead and remove the rest of the shell with our fingers. Look at this. How cool is that? This is one of my favorite experiments. I find this to be so surprising and fun. So just very gently remove the rest of the shell. You want that shell completely removed before we move to the next step. This works really well under the sink if you just wanna run some water over it and move your fingers, move your hands around the egg, completely remove that shell. Okay, we're gonna dry that off. And now we can compare our naked egg to the size of our original egg. Look at this raw egg and compare it to your naked egg. Do you see how much bigger that is? Look how much bigger our naked egg is. But why is that possible? Because we've removed the shell. If anything, you would think that it would get smaller, right? Well, here's what happened. This is the science of osmosis. Osmosis is when molecules wanna move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. And once you remove the shell, these egg membranes, you guessed it, they're semi-permeable. And the water from the vinegar was a high concentration of water, and inside your egg, there was a low concentration of water. Those water molecules, they march right through the semi-permeable membrane, making your egg grow. Now, let's make our growing egg shrink. How are we going to do that? With honey. Okay, so what you wanna do now is take your naked egg that has grown and put it in a cup of honey. You want it to be completely submerged in the honey. You'll notice that the egg will float in honey, but you just wanna put something on top of it to try to weigh it down because you really want the entire egg to be submerged in honey. Now we're going to leave our naked egg in the honey for 48 hours and see what happens. Based on what you know about osmosis, what do you think will happen? Let's see. After 48 hours, are you ready for this? This one's kind of gross. It will look like this. Look at this little egg. Oh, it's so gross. Look at this. That is incredible. I mean, now it's gotten a little bit smaller than our original egg. And you know why? Because of osmosis. Because the water from inside the egg was now a high concentration of water compared to what surrounded it, the honey. And so those water molecules, they march right out of that semi-permeable membrane that they originally marched into and went into the honey. So now we can look at the honey in the glass. What do you notice? That is a little bit more runny than it was originally. 
You see how much more runny that is than regular honey? That's because of all of the water that came out of your egg and went into the honey. So look at this egg. It's like wrinkly. Do you see that? It's so weird. Ooh, look at that. Yuck. Oh, I can like feel the yolk inside. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so now for step three, we have grown our egg. We have shrunk our egg. And now we're going to make it big again. How are we going to do that? Osmosis once again. So now we are going to put it in a cup of water. We've already removed the shell, so we don't need the vinegar anymore. Now we can just use water. We're gonna throw it in water. It sinks to the bottom because it's more dense than water. And we're gonna leave that for over 24 hours and watch as the water molecules march right back in to that semi-permeable membrane. And then after about a day, it will look like this. This is the one that I find to be the most incredible because this, look at this. This gross little small egg plumps right back up into this. How incredible is that? The incredible growing shrinking egg. I love this one, this is so cool. So that's it, again, this is osmosis. It's the water molecules moving from the water back through that semi-permeable membrane and into our egg. Growing our egg once again. This is the entire journey of our growing and shrinking egg. We start with our raw egg with the shell. This is that egg in vinegar after 48 hours, you can see that it got bigger. And then this is that egg in honey after 48 hours, you can see it got smaller. And then finally, this is that egg in water after 24 hours, you can see that it grew once again. Opening an egg that's been soaking in honey for 48 hours. Ugh. Oh my gosh, wait. The yolk is like hard. Membranes are brown from the honey. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Ew, what? It's all so much jellier. That must be the honey. Thanks for making a growing and drinking egg with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious, and keep exploring. We'll see you next time. Families,